morning guys and happy Easter. So I've gotten a few requests on how um, I finished off the back of my canvases and some people um, have asked to see it. So I figured this morning I would show you really briefly before I do a pour um, in this video on how I tape off and finish the backs of my canvas. Okay, um, so one thing about this canvas is um, I noticed as I pulled it out of the plastic that it's jointed right here um, and it seems to be pulling in. So this isn't a very straight side. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a pour on this one and then I'm probably gonna cut it right off the canvas. And we are going to do a fun little pour today and I'm really excited about it. Uh, so I haven't done one in a while like this. So, all right, so this is how I tape off the backs of my canvas. Um, I always do a little corner slot here just in case the cups, um, in case I move too much with my canvas so then the cups aren't on the support of the frame. So that is all I do. And that's taping off my canvas and then I spray it down with some water. I rub my hands around it. And that's it. So when I remove the tape, from the poured canvas, it'll have this really nice line and I will show you an example of that. And currently I have a painting that is all set, so I'll take the cups off. And I'm going to remove the canvas, I mean the tape from the canvas. Hopefully you guys can see that, yeah. So, oops, there you go. It's a nice clean edge. While we're at it, we might as well show you the dried results of one of my paintings. So I do this with all of my paintings and they always have these beautiful, perfect edges and I love it. And here is one of my dried results. So this one just needs to be varnished and then it'll be ready to go. Um, I did this about a week and a half ago, so I can't recall. Um, the name of it. Maybe it's a tropical straight pour, I think. I think that's this one. Um, so, anywho, all right, guys, I'm going to prep up some paint and we are going to do a pour. I have a ton of leftover paint, so I figured why not do um, a painting with all of my leftover paints. So, we'll see how that works out. And then I will. Um, Add obviously some white to it. I mean, I have a lot of leftover paint. And I don't know if I'm going to use that one, so we're going to hold off on that. It's a little thick. It's left in here. Yeah. This is going to be fun. I'm really excited. Bordeaux red. I gotta definitely thin that out. These have been sitting for a little over a week. This one is good. I 
Paroxysine Purple. Very good. Cadmium Yellow Light Hue. Good Lord, what else? I have a lot of greens in here from my green pour. This one I'm not gonna use. Some more copper. A little bit of fire opal. So I think I'm gonna add a couple of colors. Um, I'll use this as a base. That's Naples yellow. Napa yellow, Naples, whatever it might be. All right. Okay. So. Definitely gotta thin a couple of these out. All right. That is what we're gonna start with and I'll be back with a couple other colors. Okay guys, I have 25 colors and that is including my white here. So what I'm gonna do is everything's going in this cup and then this cup. So I'm just gonna start putting some colors in there. No particular order. My white is regular white. There's no satin enamel in that. So. I have Arteza's Rose right here. Arteza's Pearl Turquoise. Um, there's a Soft Gold. I have also Arteza's Dioxazine Purple. And there's one other one. What did I do? Oh, right here. This one is Pink Tulip. So we are just putting our colors in.
guys. So here are my little cups. Some pretty crazy colors in there. 25 in total. And this is my regular white, just two parts Floetrol to one part paint. No satin enamel in any of this. This should be fun. Lord help me. I hope it does not turn to mud. <laughs> All right, we'll be back in a minute. Okay, so you guys are uh, probably wondering what is going on. So it is an Easter uh, pour. And um, I fast forwarded the layering and just a little bit. But I have a four cup full of paint. I have eight ounces of layered paint. And I have this little thing here. And I don't even know how many ounces, but probably about three, two, who knows? And I have an egg. And it's Easter. So why not have some fun? All right, so we are prepared. We've got our Tezza colors. We've got deco art. We've got regular white and other multiple amounts of colors. So what I'm gonna do to start it off is a ring pour in the middle, as well as it can be done. Stretch it out just a bit. Give it a quick torch. There we go. Just a little something in the middle. And voila. My egg. So this cup's really pretty. We're just gonna get these colors. It doesn't matter where I put them at this point because literally this is all gonna be covered up. And we're just gonna put that right there. All right. So we're gonna go Love it. Look at those colors. I don't think there's too much mud, but. A little egg in the middle. It's cute. Okay, let's 
get a close-up of that. Look at that. I'm so excited. Okay, let's see how it turns out, guys. If I can fix this. There we go. I'm going to do a little bit of white around the edges and spread it out. torch it while we wait. Alright, maybe not. There we go. My cute little spreader Cynthia sent me. Thank you. going to do It's a heavy one. It is constantly in stretching it and bringing it right back to the middle. This one is going to shimmer.
Okay. So what I'm gonna do is actually take my gloves off because there's a bunch of paint on there. really dark in here in the video but what we're gonna do is give it a bit of a torch Love, 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 love this. All right. So let's see. Let's bring you guys in. I love this area in here. And look at those lines. There, that's more of a, a more accurate color. It's a lot brighter than it looks typically on the screen. So these are all metallics in here. And it looks awesome. It's almost like an Easter egg smudge with a little butterfly on the top. I don't know. But I love it. I think this is so cool. I know I'm going fast. But uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you're all having a beautiful, wonderful Easter. I know we're all set apart at this point, but FaceTime your friends, you know, FaceTime family. And go from there. All right, guys, have a wonderful Easter. Thank you so much for watching. Remember just to have fun. Bye.